It's like reading every history book, every book ability to research it in milliseconds and can come up with maybe an answer that humans can't because we're not looking in the right place. But it's looked in the right place from gathering evidence from multiple sources, which is what everyone does when they take exams, when we're learning, when we're studying, when we're taking tests. So that has the ability to look basically everywhere yeah. for the answer merge it all together and come up with it yeah if you think about it it's so true mate if you think about it no one human could consume enough information in their lifetime to let's just say let's not even do everything let's just pick one topic cancer no human could ever um, consume all of the information and knowledge everything that's out there on cancer they can pick and choose like the best studies and get like a real good solid understanding in terms of the research that's been done as to experiments but they could be missing a crucial piece of data in a study that was done in 1978 that didn't get a lot of attention at the time but it's an important point and they just they wouldn't know that they couldn't do it they couldn't connect the dots they couldn't retain all that information like you say ai it can consume huge data sets. It can retain it, like it, it memorizes those data sets and then it can connect dots, like you say that Yeah. We just may never have seen. It digests it like professionally. Mm. Yeah. In a way we've never seen, yeah. In a fucking robot manner. In the manner of yeah. like yeah, yeah. something that the, the human brain yeah. can't. We only have so much processing power and mm. I think this just is a whole nother level compared to what we can process. In terms I think of volume of data, yeah. Precisely. You see, a scientist, they, they um, correlate the brain with normally like a, a memory drive on a computer, mm. don't they? Mm. Like with the power, it's not too far off like mm. what computers can do. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And this has just been amplified to... Massively. And I don't think, it, like, this is early. Th- this is the first, not the first version, but this is an early stage. Imagine when we're on chat GBT10. And, like, the more people use it, the better it gets. The more advanced it gets, the more the great thing about people is like they figure out how to use something to their advantage and they'll people will come up with super creative ways to use this. Yeah. To use this technology um, to yeah, do yeah. some pretty amazing things. Like you give it to the geniuses of the world, all the innovative people that come up with ideas on their own anyway. Mm. Throw that in the mix to give them a hand. Yeah. Well, this is it. They said the people that are going to benefit from this are the people that can learn to use prompts. So to get the most out of it, you have to be kind of very specific with what you ask it, specific in how you ask it to get the best response from it because it is just a language model where it's just been trained and rated its answers. So if you're very specific, you use the right words, um, you get the most out of it. So once people start figuring that out, learning how to use it, how to prompt it to get the best answers. Who knows where it ends up?